Hi everyone and welcome to Kids Town. It's really good to see you today. We're going to be talking about one of the heroes from the Bible. And actually you started last week with Mr. Chet. Who is it? Do you remember? Yep, it's Abraham. Now remember last week God said, you need to leave this place and go to the place I tell you. And he didn't tell him where that was. So, but Abraham, because he trusted God, he went. God also gave him four promised blessings. One, I will make you a great nation. Secondly, I will make your name great. Third, I will bless those who bless you. And then his final one all families on earth will be blessed through you. Well, 25 years have passed since that promise was made. Abraham is 99, Sarah's about 90, and they have no children. Do you think after 25 years they gave up on the hope of the promise? Well, one day Abraham was sitting outside his tent. Two angels and Jesus came up. And Abraham was so excited, he invited them to stay with him and to rest and have a meal. And he got everybody to get things going. And then he came and he sat down with them. And Jesus asked, where's your wife? And he said, she's in the tent. And Jesus said, in one year, you're going to have a son. And then in the back, they heard Sarah. She was laughing. Oh, after all these years, I'm going to have a son. Well, and Jesus said then, nothing is too hard for God. So we're going to fast forward one year. And they had a baby boy, and his name was Isaac, which means laughter. God kept his promise to Abraham. Isaac grew. He was about 12 or 13. And God decided to test Abraham. Now, this wasn't for God to know what he was going to do. God already knew, of course. But it was for Isaac to see how strong his faith was in God. God told Abraham to take Isaac, his only son, to offer him as a sacrifice. Now what's a sacrifice? A sacrifice is when you give something for uh, maybe for a cause or you give it to somebody else. And it's something that's really important to you. For example, say your mom is packing up a box of things to give to the homeless shelter. And she tells you she would like you to pick out some favorite toys of yours. And she really wants to make sure that you include that favorite monkey. Because somebody would love that monkey. And you do that. You sacrifice your favorite monkey for a homeless child. Well, in this case, God is asking Abraham to sacrifice his only son. Do you think he did that? Well, Abraham obeyed God. And the next day he got Isaac, two helpers, a donkey. He loaded the wood on the donkey. He got some fire and he got a knife and they all headed off for Moriah, which is the place that God told them to go. On the third day, they arrived there and Abraham gave Isaac the wood and he grabbed the fire and the knife and he said to the helpers, stay with the donkey while Isaac and I go up this mountain to worship God. And then we will come back to you. 
Did you catch that? We will come back to you. Sounds like maybe Abraham has some hope. Well, on the way up, Isaac says, Father, we have the wood, we have fire, we have a knife. Where is the sacrifice? Where is the lamb? And Isaac just answered him, God will provide. But when they got to the place to sacrifice, Abraham built an altar. Then came the hardest part of his obedience to God. He had to take Isaac and put him on the altar for the sacrifice. And he grabbed his knife and an angel appears and says, Abraham, Abraham, stop. Don't hurt your son. God sees your obedience. There's a lamb over in the thicket there. Go and get that and offer that as your sacrifice to God. Because he is pleased with you. Oh, he was so thankful for that. He named the place Jehovah Jireh, which means God provides. Then the angel called out a second time and he said, God will make your family as numerous as the stars in the sky and the sands of the earth. All because Abraham was faithful. So God's promise all the families of the earth will be blessed through you, Abraham. I'm one of the families of the earth. Are you one of the families of the earth? You are. And do you know what this promise pointed to? It pointed to Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. That is our big blessing. Now, Abraham never got to see that blessing. He did everything through faith in God and faith that someday that promise would come about. God is a loving Father who provides for us. God gives us grace. Do you know what grace is? Well, sometimes it's kind of hard to wrap our mind around what that is. But to think of great grace is a gift. And if we look at the letters, we can make it so that it, we understand what it means. G-R-A-C-E. God's riches at Christ's expense. Let's look at what that means. God's riches. He gives us forgiveness. He gave us his word, which shows us the way to go. He gave us his Holy Spirit, who comforts us and guides us. Then A is at, and then C, E, Christ's expense. Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we can be in heaven with Jesus. All of this because Jesus gave because God gave Jesus as the perfect sacrifice. Let's look at grace again. God's riches at Christ's expense. And how can you get this grace? Remember our ABCs? First, admit to God that you have sinned and that you're very sorry for those sins. Second, that you believe that God has forgiven you through Jesus. And third, that you're going to change your ways. That's how you get 
God's forgiveness and his grace. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for telling us about Abraham's faithfulness so that we too can be faithful. Lord, thank you for the gift of grace and your son as a sacrifice so that we can be in heaven with you. Help us to tell everybody about it. Help us to accept it and to walk your way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And everybody says, Amen. And I'm going to see you again next week, boys and girls, to let you know a little bit more about God's grace. See you then.